In this video, I'm going to be showing you how we put our schedule on our event website using Airtable in a way that allows our attendees and potential visitors to access the information that they need in a mobile, responsive, and very attractive way. So in this Airtable base, we are managing the agenda for Agency Transformation Live 2020. We have here some speaker data that we're working on, and then we have an agenda that we are starting to build up. Now in the agenda, we're just calling things as sessions at the moment. We need to work with our speakers to get the right subjects, but we are also adding the sorts of tracks that we believe they will be talking on. So we'll have here our session or titles, etc., or what's happening. We have the relevant hosts or participants listed in here, the start, end time, the track, and also to be viewed at the front end. So for example, for the opening remarks, we would want my image to show. For the opening keynote, we've not yet announced who that speaker is going to be, so we're just using a standard cover image. Now, if we switch over to the Agency Transformation Live website, you'll see that what we've been able to do is embed that data on the site in a really neat way that works well on mobile devices as well. Now, the information can be scrolled through, but equally, if a user wants to click on something, they can do, and they can see all of the pertinent information, including the image, the track, etc., or multiple tracks, if that's available to them. So that's all there. It can be downloaded if they wish, or they can view a larger version. So what this is allowing us to do is to manage all of our data here in a central place and have it embedded on our website knowing that this will always be the live version. This will always this also means that we don't have to integrate with other solutions to synchronize the data across. We're able just to show the information straight away. Now to do this is ridiculously simple. So I'm gonna switch over into an event engine example site. So this is a conference schedule. And let's go ahead and go into the builder. Now to embed something from Airtable is super simple. We want to use a HTML module and depending on the builder that you are using, perhaps you have WordPress and you can just switch over into the text view or depending on your CMS, you may have an area you can insert HTML. So I've dragged a HTML block here and it's ready for the relevant HTML. So let's switch back to this day one view and then we're gonna open up this and we're gonna embed this view into our website. Now I wanna use the card layout, which looks a lot nicer and I want to remove the controls from here. I'm then going to copy this and then I'll switch back and paste that into here. So now I can see day one's schedule. Now let's duplicate this over and drag it across. I then switch back to Airtable and I'm gonna to switch to day two's view. This is just done by a simple filter saying show everything that's on day two. And then we just go through the exact same process again. We're going to say the card layout. We're going to hide the controls. We're going to copy that code. We'll switch back and we'll edit this particular block and then paste in day two. So all that's left to do is to press done and publish. And as you can see here, we are ready to rock and roll with a mobile responsive schedule that's been added to this particular example event. We can scroll through data. It will work on mobile devices. And you can also drill down into this information as well and see the pertinent information that's available. All of this at the same time being managed inside of Airtable, allowing us to make sure that our attendees and potential registrants are served live information at any time and all of my team can continue to collaborate and add fields etc inside of Airtable. Now if you have any questions please let us know. Hit us up in the comments below. How are you managing your schedules and agendas? For example are you just uploading Word documents or taking screenshots? Or if you know of some fantastic tools then please share them as well in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. Don't forget, like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube and have a great day.